Tell us why you're here as if we didn't know. We're family. Kenny asked me to be here tonight. He said it's the biggest match of his life. He's always been looking for that magical moment here at AEW. I'm glad that they made a gentleman's agreement to have a wrestling match, mano a mano tonight. John Moxley very focused, very pensive right here. This really is irresistible force meets a movable object. Eyes on flesh here. This is taking Omega right out of whatever game plan he had, in my opinion. Here comes a challenger, Omega, oh. but over. Paradigm shifts those heaters. There's a doctor. Bad shake. No, I'm going down to check on Kenny, obviously. Look at this. John Moxley is like livid. Don Callis has the microphone. Oh, good God. Yeah, there's some impact there. Don should have stayed away from the ring. He wanted him to stop the match. He said he's hurt. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Omega's got the mic. We're, We're family. family. Oh, my God. Right between the eyes. They knocked him out. Well, that microphone. Oh, the feet trigger. One winged angel! Oh! Shoulders are down! New champion! This has got stink all over it. I think Callus has set this damn thing up. Don Callus has led a screw job here and taken advantage of Tony Khan's hospitality. And there's Tony. Tony he's barking at Callus and Omega. Absolute bull. They're running like scalded dogs here. Callus, what a no good bastard. This Tuesday, Impact Wrestling on Access TV, me and Kenny will tell you all about it, Mark. We've just been jobbed. You're damn right, we've been jobbed. Job, 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 job. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Skyway Studios in Nashville, Tennessee. Last week, the wrestling world was shocked when Impact Wrestling Executive Vice President Don Callis helped Kenny Omega win the AEW World Championship, the All Elite Wrestling World Championship. Tonight, I will have an exclusive interview. I will enter the bus that you're seeing, an exclusive sit down with the new AEW World Champion, Kenny Omega. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first a company to the ring by Ethan Page and representing the North from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, Josh Alexander. And it's a whole new world here on Tuesday nights. The Impact Zone, the walking weapon, Josh Alexander, his tag team partner, Ethan Page, has been on edge over the last number of weeks, especially after being defeated by AJ Swaggle. We'll tell you the whole story, folks. Madison Rain, Ethan Page looks perturbed tonight. What a night it's gonna be. His opponent accompanied to the ring by Alex Shelley and representing the Motor City Machine Guns from Detroit, Michigan, Chris Saban. The Motor City Machine Guns return to Impact Wrestling back at Slammiversary in July. What a night that was. We invite you to join in on the conversation tonight, folks. Use the hashtag Impact on Access TV. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. The Motor City Machine Guns laid out their plan, their hit list, to become tag team champions again here at Impact Wrestling. Last week, they defeated Triple XL. They have the North on their race. Are. And then after that, they feel they're primed and ready to challenge the Good Brothers for the Tag Team Champions. The only problem with that, Madison Rain, is that this Saturday night, final resolution on Impact Plus, streaming, we'll see Ethan Page go one-on-one -on -one with Carl Anderson of the Good Brothers. And if Ethan Page wins that match, the North will challenge again for the Tag Team Championships here in Impact Wrestling. A wild time for all of us. And Madison, after what we saw this past Wednesday night on AEW's Dynamite, you said tonight might be the biggest night in Impact history. Tell everybody something about the walking weapon, Josh Alexander. Well, I mean, Whoa. Josh Alexander is called the walking weapon for a reason. To sum him up in a sentence, he is quite possibly the hardest hitting man in all of professional wrestling. 
And Chris Saban, a former world champion, former tag team champion with the legendary Motor City Machine Guns. You see Alex Shelley on the outside. And the Motor City Machine Guns would love to be tag team champions again. I mentioned they returned at Slammiversary. They defeated the Rascals. They then defeated the North, ending their longest reign as Impact Wrestling World Tag Team Champions at over a year. And then it bound for glory, our biggest pay-per-view of the year. The North won the tag team titles back, but last month on Impact Plus, at turning point, the Good Brothers, Doc Gallows and Carl Anderson, became tag team champions. Doc Gallows, he was taken out. Ethan Page admitted to taking out Gallows last week. Anderson will look for revenge Saturday night. The North will look for an opportunity to challenge yet again for the tag team titles. And to your point, Josh Alexander is hitting hard tonight into the body of Chris Sabin. Madison, you've known Chris Sabin and Alex Shelley almost your entire career. They have heart, they have desire, they have passion. They have heart, desire, and passion. And the thing about them, Josh, we've spoken about this in the past weeks and months. They've come together. Hold that thought. There's a cover by Alexander and a kick out. They come back together at Slammiversary after not being here at Impact Wrestling for what feels like an eternity. And they still perform as though they're in the, the peak of their career. It's amazing. It's phenomenal to me how these two just stay conditioned. They stay sharp in the ring. And as the eras of tag team wrestling here at Impact oh. Wrestling change, they're able to adapt. Yeah, we've seen that, and the Motor City Machine Guns would love to be next in line to challenge the Good Brothers for the Impact Wrestling World Tag Team titles. And, oh, big chop there by Saban. I'm sure the Good Brothers are wondering and excited to see the bus outside that we will break to, ladies and gentlemen, if anything happens. The bus of Kenny Omega outside the AEW World Champion here with Don Callis as Alexander drives the knee into the side of the face of Chris Sabin, goes for a cover, traps the arm, and a kick out there by Sabin here in this one-on-one -on -one matchup. Can you just think for a second about what you just said? There's a bus outside the impact zone, and AEW world champion Kenny Omega is on it. Unprecedented times after what we saw this past Wednesday night on AEW Dynamite, the V-Trigger, multiple V-Triggers from Kenny Omega to John Moxley, then the one-winged angel from Kenny Omega to become champion, all set up by Don Callis. Absolutely incredible. And there's a snap suplex there by the walking weapon, Josh Alexander. And again, for us to just say Don Callis' his name is pretty commonplace here in Impact Wrestling. But for everybody watching, everybody wondering what's going on around here, Don's an EVP of Impact Wrestling, an executive vice president. And what he did this past Wednesday night has had the wrestling world buzzing all week long. Look, he, the man is a mastermind. He, he went to AEW. Tony Khan extended the invitation to him. He came in, he said that he and Kenny Omega have been Ooh. friends for many, many years, which is true. Family. Family. But nobody could have foreseen Ooh. what Don Callis had planned last Wednesday night. And I can't wait to see what they have planned later tonight. There's a schoolboy by Saban and a kick out. Again, I'll have the first exclusive interview with Kenny Omega, and there's a kick there from Saban that rocked Alexander. And Madison, what does it mean there when a, when a wrestler starts shaking their hand? He got kicked in the face there, but he, he shook his hand. Is he trying to get feeling there to see what's going on in his fingertips? You know, your, your first instinct when you get kicked in the head is to make sure that you can feel all of your limbs, that there's no nerve damage, and I, I think that's what Josh Alexander was doing. Crucifix there by Saban, and Alexander pops free. Alexander back up, and dragon screw leg whip, and Chris Saban's starting to get things going here. Saban takes out the leg of Alexander. Looking for a mahi straw cradle in the center of the ring. Shoulders down, couldn't quite lock his hands, and Alexander kicks out. Here comes Josh Alexander, sidestepped by Saban. And Chris Saban of the Motor City Machine Guns mentioned he's a former world champion. Knows how to get it done in singles competition. And Saban looking to fly off the other side to the stage of Alexander. Alexander clutches at his knee. Here comes Ethan Page and Alex Shelley watching like a hawk. 
Yeah, Alex Shelley, that was a smart move by him not letting Ethan Page get anywhere close to Chris Sabin before he came around the corner to protect his friend and his partner. Sabin now back inside the ring with Josh Alexander. A very important match here. This singles match, very important in the tag team division. Cross body off the top rope, hooks the outside, leg shoulders down, and a near fall there. Chris Sabin trying to put away Josh Alexander. Great to see the Motor City Machine Guns back in Impact Wrestling. You can check out shopimpact.com right now for exclusive Motor City Machine Guns merchandise. As Chris Sabin looking to put away Alexander here on the walking weapon says, I don't think so. Wow. Space created here in Madison Rain. I'm surprised at the success that Saban's had in close proximity with Josh Alexander. Alexander is a heavy, heavy hitter. Well, but I think that Chris Saban's strategy here is to just stay one step ahead and be a little bit quicker and avoid some of those nasty blows at the hands of Josh Alexander. And Saban was looking for a Huracan Rana, a power bomb off the knee of Alexander, and he was that close. That close to a victory was Josh Alexander. A power bomb already a devastating move. When you modify that and take the individual into your knee, that's career threatening. Paige has been unhinged over the last number of weeks says that everybody loves messing with him. Management loves messing with him. The Good Brothers love messing with him. I thought it was hilarious when we saw AJ Swaggle come out here. There's an Inseguri by Chris Saban. That rocked Alexander to the corner. And this one-on-one -on -one match continues. Trying to listen into what Paige was saying there momentarily as Saban misses in the corner. Gets the boot up. Close line there by Josh Alexander. And there's a throw from Alexander, sends Saban back towards the middle of the ring. Yeah, this is where Chris Saban could be in trouble. The match is going a long time. His endurance has to be tested here, and not only that, but if he takes oh. one or two of those heavy hands from Josh Alexander, this match could be over. Saban off the top rope, now missile drop kick to the back of Josh Alexander. To Madison's point, Alexander can turn this match around with one big move, so he's never out of it, but a massive missile Drop kick by Saban. There's a shining wizard standing style, and we'll see if Saban can pick up the victory here. Chris Saban trying to get Josh Alexander back up to take him down yet again and end this match. Off the shoulders he goes. Misses wildly. Ooh, rip cord into the elbow, and there could be the one move, the one big shot from Josh Alexander. Josh! No, 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 no. No more elbows! Yeah. Drop him on his head, Josh! Break his head! Do it like you did to Shelly! Do it like you did to Shelly! Drop him on his head! Ascension amongst the north. Saban picks the knees! Jackknife cover! And Chris Saban's pick, Josh Alexander! Here is your winner, Chris Saban! The north were arguing about what Josh Alexander should do next. And then Chris Saban with the jackknife cover picks up the win. The North not on the same page. They're not even on the same map. They're not even reading the same book. But Madison Rain, the Motor City Machine Guns look to be humming after that victory for Chris Saban tonight. Great way to kick off Impact with some action tonight. Still to come, the final opening round match in the Knockouts Tag Team Tournament. But Madison Rain, we turn our attention to what the world has been talking about since this past Wednesday night, AEW Dynamite on TNT, Don Cowles, my broadcast partner on pay-per-views. I've gotten to know Don very well over the last number of years. An Impact executive sits down to call the main event between his longtime friend Kenny Omega and John Moxley. And that's enough to get people talking, but then Don gets involved in the match. Don gets involved and helps Kenny Omega become the new AEW World Champion. They leave and say, they dropped this bomb. We'll let everybody know what's going on. We'll do it on Impact. We'll do it on Access TV. We'll do it on Tuesday night. On this night, you saw the bus, it's here. Kenny Omega is here. Don Callis is on the bus. What do they have planned for Impact? What are they going to say tonight? And I 
I've been granted the first interview with the new AEW world champion, Kenny Omega, Don Callis. I'm gonna ask the hard questions. I'm gonna try to get to the, the root of this. What exactly what went down Wednesday and what exactly do they have planned for Impact Wrestling? I, I mean, think about the words that just came out of your mouth. It has to feel unnatural. The AEW world champion, Kenny Omega, is here. He's here at Impact Wrestling, and he's with Impact Wrestling executive Don Callis. It doesn't, it doesn't make sense in terms of the rules that we know to be true about professional wrestling. Literally anything from this moment forward can happen. We're gonna talk about it throughout this show, folks. It's what's the world has been buzzing about and talking about since Wednesday night. And like I said, at some point during this broadcast, I'll be called and I'll be told it's my time to ask Kenny Omega the questions, to talk to Don Callis, to find out what they have planned for Impact and to find out what this means for the future. Again, Kenny Omega, AEW World Champion, is here at Impact tonight. Moose, my boy! What's happening? Finally found you. You over here ducked over in the corner and whatnot. Hey, uh, so we got this match coming up in a little bit. You want to go over some strategy? Let's talk about a, a game plan or something? I mean, I figured since we've never teamed before, maybe we should we should go over something, like some moves you want to do or so. You know, like any ways you want to get in there. And... Hey, don't you hear me? I'm trying to have a conversation with you. These. Talk for me. Are you sure you want to talk? Okay. You could try being a little bit nicer to me, especially since after this Saturday of Final Resolution, I am going to be the Impact World Champion. Then you're going to want to have a conversation with me. You call me my life to talk to me. Well, I guess we'll talk to you after this Saturday. The following announcement is paid for by All Elite Wrestling, home of AEW Dynamite, last week's number one cable program. Here's the owner of AEW, Tony Khan. Thank you, Mr. Shivani. Hey, Impact Wrestling, it's great to be here tonight via this paid ad that's allowed me to join you. I understand the brand new AEW World Champion Kenny Omega is going to be here on this show tonight, so I thought I would join him. If I wanted to stop it, Tony, I absolutely could. Yes, I know that. I could file an injunction. I could tell Kenny he's in breach of contract, but I'm not going to do that. Instead, I thought I would actually help fund the show via this ad because I think it's going to help. It's going to help the budget. It's going to help the bottom line. And hopefully it helps promote AEW to have our champion on this show. The only thing I don't like about it is the way Kenny won the belt. It was a joke. It was disgraceful. It was terrible. It was terrible. John Moxley, the greatest champion in wrestling, he didn't deserve that. But let me tell you something. Don Callis, you're welcome to come with Kenny tomorrow too. In fact, Kenny, I know how you're arriving at the show. I handled it, I hand, you know, set up your arrival. We're more than happy to accommodate you. We're just really looking forward to seeing you, buddy. Tomorrow night, AEW Dynamite, tune in. We got a real big card with big main events, like Orange Cassidy versus MJF for the Dynamite Diamond, and Lance Archer and the Lucha Brothers versus Eddie Kingston, the Butcher, and the Blade. And I understand they have some tag teams here in Impact Wrestling, Tony. I've heard that. I've heard yeah. they have some. Well, you're going to see the greatest tag team in the world, the World Tag Team Champions of the Young Bucks, taking on Jack Evans and Anelico, TH2, tomorrow night. The Young Bucks are the best. And let me tell you something, Tony. Some of these teams around here, maybe I'll come check them out. In fact, I have some investments in Nashville, Tony. Yeah. Yeah. There's some rumors that I might even buy Impact Wrestling. You... You spent a cup of coffee in Impact Wrestling yourself, didn't you, Tony? Yeah, one night, and then I quit the business for 18 years. 2002. 2002. Well, I'm glad I brought you back, Tony. It was my pleasure. I'm thrilled to have you. I love you, buddy. Thank you, buddy. Thanks. He's the best. And let me tell you something. Tomorrow night on Dynamite, you're going to see this guy, Tony Schiavone, talk to Sting. How long has it been since you talked to Sting? Oh, 20, 25 years. That's yeah, absolutely. 25? Yes, oh, absolutely. That's great. Well, let me tell you something. Uh, it's going to be a great time. And Kenny, I'm looking forward to seeing you tomorrow. I can't wait to see what you have to say tonight. And Don, like I said, you're welcome to stop by yourself. See you guys tomorrow. Ladies and gentlemen, the following is a one fall contest. Introducing first from Queens, New York, the most professional wrestler, Brian Meyer. 
Brian Myers is a former WWE Tag Team Champion. He's a former TNA Tag Team Champion as well. Calls himself the most professional wrestler. Brian Myers also hosts a very successful podcast with his buddy Matt Cardona, the Major Wrestling Figure Podcast. And they have a toy drive happening right now. Be sure to check it out. Donate what you can, folks. This is holiday season. The most professional wrestler, Brian Myers, all set for action here tonight. A challenge laid down from last week about to take place this evening. His opponent from Los Angeles, California, TJP. TJP is a former X Division champion in his own right, but Madison Rain, the edict was laid down by Executive Vice President Scott Moore. TJP can never challenge for the X Division Championship again as long as Rohit is X Division Champion. So TJP knows that that caveat has been laid down upon him. He's going to need to come up with a plan or wait for Rohit to lose the title. TJP has always got a plan. And maybe he's got an alter ego in his back pocket. Well, TJP, like I said, former X Division Champion. Brian Myers not looking all that impressed with TJP here tonight. Two weeks ago, we saw Rohit Raju face suicide. Rohit thought that it was TJP under the suicide mask. TJP walks down to the stage. Rohit's upset, defeated by suicide, who turned out to be Crazy Steve. Last week, they have the one-on-one -on -one match, Crazy Steve versus Rohit for the X Division Championship. And in the end, Rohit found a way to remain X Division Champion. I know you're a big fan of Rohit as the X Division Champion. Well, he does exactly what you just said. He always finds a way, and I can appreciate that. Rohit remains X Division Champion. And TJP trying to escape the grip here of Brian Myers. TJP nips up on his feet, smile on his face. The former X Division champion in control of Brian Myers right now here in this one-on-one -on -one matchup. Madison Rand, are you on Cameo? You got to go to Cameo, folks. Get a Cameo from all your favorite Impact Wrestling stars. Download the Cameo app today. I'm on Cameo. So are some of your favorite Impact Wrestling stars. Be sure to check it out. Get a personalized message this holiday season from one of your favorite Impact stars. Are you the one who keeps requesting videos of me? I keep getting requests from, from Nerdboy222. Is that you? I have you? no idea what you're talking about. TJP trying to spin free here of Brian Myers yet again. Picks the ankle. TJP into the cover and a quick kick out there by Brian Myers. TJP with the side headlock here. As you can feel the emotions of Impact Wrestling on this particular night as I await to go outside and interview the new AEW World Champion Kenny Omega. Shoulders down for Myers momentarily, but TJP opts to go for a submission hold here. Looking for a sharpshooter. If he turns around, he does. And doesn't have the legs quite locked. Now we'll turn and look for something else here. There's a bridge. Locks his hands underneath the chin of Brian Myers, and Myers finally crawls over and is able to get his hands on the bottom rope. Ladies and gentlemen, if you can't get enough of Impact Wrestling immediately following the show tonight, it's Impact in 60 as we take a look at the early days of the X Division. Perhaps you'll see a young TJP on Impact in 60 immediately following Impact here on Access TV. Brian Myers, the most professional wrestler. You've been singing the praises of Myers since his arrival here back at Slammiversary. I sure have. I love that he has taken control of his career. He does things how he wants, when he wants. Look, I find that to be incredibly professional. Myers now is... Probably not thinking TJP is the most professional here, but TJP takes advantage, headstand in the corner, turns it into a head scissors, and Myers is gonna buy himself some time on the outside. Here comes TJP off the second and drives his boots right to the face of Brian Myers. Myers is probably wishing right now that he was playing with some wrestling action figures and not involved in this match against TJP. Hey, you know, micro brawlers are coming back. Shopimpact.com. They will be exclusively available there starting in the new year. Yes, you get more friends, Josh. I'm so happy for you. TJP in the corner and Brian Myers cuts it down. 
Myers will look to regain control here of TJP. Myers talking trash. Wow. TJP crashes and burns to the floor. Brian Myers can take control here as Impact Wrestling on Access TV rolls on after this. Welcome back to Impact Wrestling on Access TV. It is Brian Myers, one-on-one -on -one with TJP. He hops up out of the corner, looking for a little tornado DDT. And TJP, just like that. Madison, we talked earlier about Josh Alexander. He can use a big move to turn things around. But TJP, in a flash, can connect with three moves and regain control in a heartbeat. Yeah, don't blink if you're in the ring against TJP because that quickly the match can be over. Reminds me of an air raid offense that you see in college football as TJP goes springboard off the second. Nip up by TJP. And again, TJP is keeping this match above the ring. Nice throw there. Let's see if he floats over. He does. There's the second. Oftentimes, TJP will turn the third into a back suplex or do something thrilling. This time, he just keeps it going with the suplex on Brian Myers, looking to go up top. His signature move is the Mamba Splash. Myers rolls in. TJP rolls through. Myers catches him and connects with the jumping flatliner. Cover, hooks the outside leg, shoulders down in a near fall. Great match developing between Brian Myers and TJP. And folks, I promise you, this is what Impact Wrestling brings every single Tuesday night right here on Access TV. It is action personified for two hours. Myers' signature move, a clothesline. And TJP connects with the body scissors, hooks the ankle. This is a knee bar, and he's got Brian Myers. We've seen TJP use this move in the past. Myers is writhing in pain. Look at how close he is. That's like a shot on the goal line, and Myers is so close, and he got it. Grabs the bottom rope, and the match will continue. But Madison, the damage may be done to the knee of Brian Myers. The damage may already be done, and... and Unfortunately for TJP there, even though his ring positioning was fantastic, Brian Myers is just so tall Ooh. that he was only able to keep that hold on for a few seconds. Myers was able to hang TJP up there for a second. Myers goes low, TJP counters. Look at the escapability of TJP, and there's a back suplex. It's like that movie, Now You See Me, or Now You See Me Too. TJP going up to the top rope here. It's a movie about magicians. And TJP, Mama Splash! These were up of Brian Myers. Shoulders down, and Myers was that close to stealing a victory from TJP here tonight. Brian Myers seems to think that was a three count. Oh, Myers will argue with anybody. Back and forth they go. TJP slides down, looking for a sunset flip style pin. Shoulders down. No, Myers turn. TJP does the same. Back to the knee bar. And TJP, this time Brian Myers can't get, look at how far he is from the ring rope. Look at how far he is from getting a break here as he is crawling and scratching and trying to do whatever he can. He's through the referee to TJP to break the hold. That was brilliant. See? This is why I'm such a fan of Brian Myers. Myers plants TJP with a spine buster. Myers trying to shake Felix back into his knee, connects with his clothesline. Brian Myers connects with the clothesline. There's a cover, shoulders down, and Brian Myers picked up the win. Here is your winner, Brian Myers. Brian Myers picks up the win here. I don't know if TJP's foot glanced the bottom rope or not. Ryan Myers picks up the win here tonight on Impact Wrestling on Access TV. And the most professional wrestler looking to close out 2020 victorious. And still to come tonight, the final opening round match in the Knockouts Tag Team Title Tournament. Don't go anywhere, folks. We got plenty more coming up tonight. All right, cuz, you ready? You damn right I'm ready. There we go, there we go. We got this. We got this? Yeah, of course we got this. Cuz, this ain't about we. Okay. This is about me. Yeah. I've gotta go out there alone. I know you have to do this on your own, but he's gonna have Joe Doring out there. So at least let me have your back. Look. If you want to come out there with me, come out there with me. But I need to prove 
that I am not a nobody. And you need to promise me that no matter what happens out there, no matter what you see going down, you do not get involved. Promise me. Okay, all right, I promise. I get it. Oh, hey, look at this. Turn that frown upside down, my man. TJ, how are you doing, huh? How are you doing? Oh, you're not doing that well, are you? I mean, look what happens. You try to stand up to Brian Myers, be a great guy. What happened to you, huh? <laughs> that thing was suicide and crazy Steve. It was really clever, really funny. But that didn't work out for you because I'm always two steps ahead. 2020 is just not your year. However, 2020, it's been my year because I've been shining bright. I have literally become the greatest X Division champion in this lifetime, right? And then at final resolution, you gotta have eyes on this. Final resolution, it is the final defeat Rohit challenge of 2020, and it's open to anyone, anyone except you, TJP. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, man. I'm feeling great. Maybe 2020, 2021, excuse me, will be your year, but I doubt it. <laughs> See you around, man. Hey, Rohit. Yeah? You know, on that final defeat Rohit challenge, good luck. <laughs> good luck. Final resolution, Saturday night, final defeat Rohit challenge. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, accompanied to the ring by Joe Doring from Parts Unknown, the world class maniac, Eric Young. Eric Young returned to Impact Wrestling at Slammiversary. He was the surprise entrant in the main event that became a five way for the vacated world championship. Eric Young was eliminated by Rich Swan. That spawned something inside of Eric Young. He attacked Rich Swan, nearly ended his career. Eric would go on to become world champion, defeating Eddie Edwards. And then at Bound for Glory, Rich was able to persevere and he defeated Eric Young. Rich Swan is the current reigning world champion. Since then, the world-class maniac has recruited the powerful, massive Joe Doring, and they say that they rule this world. His opponent, accompanied to the ring by Cousin Jake from the Diener compound, Cody Diener. Quickly wrapping up that story with Eric Young and Joe Doring, Madison, we don't know what the end game is for them other than ruling the world. Does Eric Young want to play Thanos? Does he want to destroy everybody, the Avengers included, and rule this world? We'll find out what Eric Young's plan is when Eric Young wants us to, and he's gone after Cody Diener. Cody said that he used to drive Eric Young. They used to, they came up together in this Oh, in their journey to become professional wrestlers, and he needs to prove to Eric Young tonight that he's not a nobody. Yeah, it's unfortunate for Cody Diener. He, I have oh. to assume, thought that Eric Young was a friend. He had to be excited when Eric Young returned to Impact Wrestling at Slammiversary. This is disheartening, and I'm not even a fan of the Deaners. And remember what Cody Diener told Cousin Jake, no matter what happens, no matter what tricks they pull, do not get involved. I have to do this on my own. So one last stand for Cody Diener, and he's firing away into Eric Young here tonight. I'm not a nobody. I'm not a nobody. And you can hear Cody screaming, I'm not a nobody. And Eric Young set for the ride. Eric Young, former, oh, shoulder first of Cody Diener into the steel post there. Eric Young now 
former world champion multiple times, tag team champion, X Division champion. He's done it all here in Impact Wrestling and truly does feel that he rules this world. The world doesn't belong to them. It belongs to us. And you saw a glimpse of the massive Joe Doring at ringside. Cousin Jake knows not to get involved. That's the request of his cousin Cody here in this matchup. And Josh, I have to I have to interrupt you here though. Sure. I can't I cannot get behind this valiant fighting effort of Cody Diener and him telling cousin Jake, don't get involved. Oh! If you've got a giant in your corner, use him. There's a cover by Eric Young off of the Death Valley driver and a kick out. And Cody wants to prove he's not a nobody. He needs to do this on his own in order to prove that to everybody, including Eric Young and a Another giant at ringside, Joe Doring, All Japan Pro Wrestling, everything that he's done in his career, and now is aligned himself with Eric Young. They may be, oh, and we say this a lot, but they may be one of the most dangerous duos in all of Impact Wrestling. Cody Diener goes up and over, sunset flip, shoulders down, and look, in my opinion, Cody Diener's accomplished a lot. He's beloved throughout Canada. It would be a massive, massive upset if Cody Diener is able to defeat Eric Young here tonight. It would be a massive upset, but Josh, let's look at this and think about this logically. This is not Cody Diener versus Eric Young in a one-on-one -on -one singles match. Joe Doring always, in one way or another, makes his presence felt. Now, I, I can't think that tonight will be any different. Well, I think the presence alone of Joe Doring is something, but he hasn't gotten involved yet. He hasn't really moved yet. He's still staying on the outside. And Cody Diener is showing heart. He's showing passion. He's showing, look, I'm not a nobody. I'm going to take the fight to Eric Young no matter what it costs me. And Cody connects with a clothesline. There's a back elbow. And Cody Diener looking for a major upset here. There's a scoop and a slam. Eric Young is down, and Cody Diener's feeling it here, folks. Can Diener pull off the massive upset? on an unprecedented night here in Impact Wrestling with Kenny Omega's bus outside. And there's Cousin Jake. Cody says, nope, don't do it. Don't get involved. There's Joe Doring. Look at the ominous presence of Doring. Kenny, oh! Cody off the top rope, and he comes up empty. Here comes Eric Young, looking for his devastating pile driver. Got him! And Cody Diener. This, my friends, is a formality as nobody kicks out of an Eric Young pile driver. Here is your winner, Eric Young. And Madison Rain, I say this with a caveat, this is where it should be over. This is where Eric Young should turn around, get Joe Doring and get out of here. But as we've seen over the last number of weeks, and here we go, it's not over yet. There's Cousin Jake. Now the match is over. The match is over. Cousin Jake took to heart what Cody Diener said, and now Cousin Jake on the shoulders of Doring, and Doring with a massive, oh, what a clothesline. What a clothesline. A massive short arm lariat from Joe Doring. Wow. Eric Young, he wants to finish this once and for all. He wants to put away the Deaners. Put him away once and, whoa, 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 whoa. What's this? It's Rhino! And Rhino's got an equalizer! Rhino's got a lead pipe! And Joe Doring and Cody... Eric Young are gonna get out of here! Joe Doring and Eric Young are gonna live to fight another day because Rhino and his lead pipe! Rhino and his equalizer! Joe Doring looks like he still wants to fight, Josh! Joe Doring being held back by Eric Young. The lead pipe in the hand of Rhino doesn't thwart Doring, but Eric Young, he's calling the shots. He's the mastermind. Calm down. Get him, get him. Calm down. Calm down. He tried to kill me. I know. He should be in jail. Yes. He shot me and Mr. Mundo got hit with the shrapnel. You need to calm down. You got to worry about your health and you got to worry about Mr. Mundo's health. Go relax. Trust me. I got this. We won. <clears throat> you shouldn't be a free man. I told you I was set up. I don't care. What? What? This Saturday night is final resolution. 
and I propose a match between myself and you. And if you beat me, I'll go willingly. Lock me up, take me where you may. But if I beat you, I walk a free man. Wrestling match made. You mean to tell me that I can walk away and win my freedom from attempted murder in a wrestling match? You can do that? I could do whatever the hell I want. See you at final resolution. Yep. Hey, Scott. Hey, Tommy. Uh, I'm a little concerned about what's going on. Yeah, I'm a little concerned, too, because I saw what you just did there, going out there and making matches. You know, if there's one thing I can't stand is wrestlers making matches. Yeah, I know, but... I, I can, look, not nothing's going to ruin my mood today. Beat up Larry D, get knocked out by him, whichever way it goes. The, it, it, it's, great for the, it's great for the show. And, uh, I mean, this is amazing what's going on tonight. I'm concerned about what's going on with Kenny and Don being here. I've lived it. I've been a part of it. It's never worked out. So your concern is that one of the biggest stars in the world, one of the greatest wrestlers in the history of our sport, is here, parked outside, and going to be on our show, and that's all anyone in the wrestling world, and even outside of it, can talk? I'm concerned about what it does to the locker room. My biggest concern is always Don. You know Don is always out for himself, and it sets a precedent to the guys who, and girls who work here. It's I've been a part of this before. It always blows up, and I don't, I'm just, I it's want just, to it's, it's blowing up right now, and in a good way. Look, Tommy, I get your point. And one of the reasons you're here is because you, you can keep that locker room humming along. If that's what you got to do now. Don's out for himself. If that's your position, great. He's not the first one, not going to be the last in the wrestling business. Kenny Omega is in the parking lot. Kenny Omega is on our show tonight. Even Lance Storm thinks this is a good thing, and he's never happy about anything. All right. D do what you do, Tommy. Keep the locker room happy and, and go retweet. Retweet. Hook, link yourself up with this. Get a little rub. Okay. Sell a t-shirt. Thank you, as always, for letting me voice my concern. I'm kidding. Tommy, I, I love you. I love you, too. This is a good thing. All right, if you say so, I trust you. Wherever it goes, let's go along for the ride. Because there's a lot of people on the ride with us. Okay, yeah, you say so. Does Tommy Dreamer have cause for concern? The Knockouts Tag Team Tournament continues right now. This is a first round match in the Knockouts Tag Team Title Tournament. It is scheduled for one fall. Introducing team number one first from Seattle, Washington, Kimberly. Her tag team partner from Hackettstown, New Jersey. She is the Knockouts Champion, the Virtuosa, Tiana Purrazzo. So the final first round match in the Knockouts Tag Team Championship Tournament. You can see the bracket on the screen. Ladies and gentlemen, you can see how it all plays out. The winners of this match will go on to face Kiera Hogan and Tasha Steeles in the semifinals. The other semifinals, Havoc and Nevaeh, Jordan Grace and Jazz. We'll talk about the tournament throughout this match. Their opponents first from Slamtown, Taya Valkyrie. Taya Valkyrie, a vision in neon green here tonight. The former longest reigning knockouts champion in Impact Wrestling history. Taya Valkyrie also a multiple time Reina de Reyes champion in AAA. Our partner promotion down in Mexico, and she's developed a great friendship with her tag team partner here tonight. They are the front runners in the minds of plenty to become the new Knockouts Tag Team Champions. Those champions will be crowned right on pay per view January 16th at Hard to Kill. Her tag team partner from the Valley of the Shadows, Rue! At this point in her career, may be the cornerstone of the knockouts. Former knockouts champion, the demon assassin, the leader of the Hivelings, and has one of the most unique entrances, bone chilling entrances in all of professional wrestling. Okay. 
at that face, Josh. Could you imagine Rosemary as Knockout's Tag Team Champion? We made the announcement back at Bound for Glory that the Knockouts Tag Team titles will be returning. We heard the talk on social media from all the fans of Impact Wrestling. Much like Scott DeMore is looking through his timeline right now, the world buzzing about Kenny Omega, the AEW World Champion, with Don Callis here tonight in the bus outside. Our interview with them still to come as we wait and see who will lead this match moving on to the semifinals. Madison Rain, you yourself, five-time knockouts champion, two-time knockouts tag team champion. You've been in the ring with all four of these ladies. You've got a long-standing relationship with Deanna Perrazzo. She credits you for being here in Impact Wrestling. Her story's been told she didn't like her former home, and she's found one here in Impact. She's found a home here, Josh, and she fits perfectly. She's done everything from day one that she said she was going to do, and she may be ending this match early. Deanna Brazo will use the Fujiwar armbar. That's her signature move. And that's how Deanna Perrazzo will look to win matches. The Venus de Milo is where she grabs both arms to lock behind her opponent's back. She also has a package pile driver that she calls the Cosa Nostra. So Deanna Perrazzo with a bevy of moves to put away her opposition and now has the arm of Rosemary. And just like that, Madison Rain, Deanna Perrazzo can take control of a match in the first few seconds. She can, Josh, and, and she has done that in impressive fashion. She, I've said this before, she has literally walked through hell since coming here to Impact Wrestling, and she is a deserving Knockouts champion. We've seen an influx of new Knockouts over the last number of months here in Impact Wrestling. None have stood out more than Kimberly, in my opinion. We've even seen the arrival of Killer Kelly, Renee Michelle, the likes of Nevea, as Kimberly is all over Taya Valkyrie here, there's a cover and a kick out. Now, while I say Kimberly may be the MVP of all the new knockouts, my favorite team has to be Tasha Steeles and Kiara Hogan. I'm jumping on your bandwagon there. They are two of the most entertaining knockouts in the history of Impact Wrestling. Yeah, you're right, Josh. And, and as we look at, at this bracket, and we know who has already advanced into the semifinals. Whoever is victorious in this match here tonight, whoever, whichever team completes the semifinal bracket, this is a star-studded semifinals for the Knockouts Tag Team title. I cannot wait to see what develops in the coming weeks. No doubt about it, as Kimberly has Taya Valkyrie here tied up like a pretzel almost. Now, Kim's got to watch her shoulder. She's doing just that. Now, Taya will lead back. That's a smart way to break that that hold because unlike in MMA or UFC, when you lean back and your shoulders are down, that's a pinning opportunity for your opponent. And Kim knew that, had to break the hold. Taya looking to make the tag. Taya Valkyrie, in my opinion, I know that we're getting ready to announce the awards for 2020 Wrestler of the Year, Match of the Year, Knockout of the Year, X Division Star of the Year. You, I'd be hard pressed to disagree with Taya Valkyrie being Knockout of the Year in Impact Wrestling. There's a clothesline by Taya Valkyrie. You may argue Deanna Peraza should be Knockout of the Year. Oh God, I think Madison Rain should be Knockout of the Year. Are you kidding me? Taya looking to make a tag to Rosemary. Kim will drag her back to the other side of the ring. And I guess you'd be hard pressed to disagree with Deanna being in that conversation. Came into Impact at Slammiversary, became Knockouts Champion, defeated Jordan Grace in a 30 minute Iron Man match. First ever Knockout style of that match. There's a cover and a kick out by Taya Valkyrie. But right now it's all about the Knockouts tag team championship. Both of these teams looking to advance to face the team of Kiera and Tasha. And Madison, of the five remaining teams, are you going to stick with your early prediction of Kiera and Tasha? Well, it, it depends on what happens here in these next few minutes and how this match pans out. Look, if Deanna Perrazzo, if her and Kimberly are successful in winning this match and they go on and they become Knockouts tag team champions, oh. Deanna joins a very very small, very select group of women who have simultaneously held both titles in the Knockouts division. Great that the Knockouts tag team titles will return January 16th 
live on pay-per-view and streaming on Fight TV and hard to kill. There's a knee by Taya, and they both connect with elbows and both knockouts down. Can Kimberly make a tag to the knockouts champion, Deanna Perrazzo, or will Taya Valkyrie make a tag to Rosemary? Will both teams get a reset here with tags? Kim closing in, as is Taya. There's the tag of the Demon Assassin. And here comes Rosemary, and here comes Deanna Perrazzo. This is how this match started, and it continues with these two. Rosemary with a screen, and there with the sling blade connecting. In the corner now, Rosemary splashes into Deanna Perrazzo, and now Rosemary looking for a throw out of the corner. Able to connect, and Rosemary is firing on all cylinders. There's a cover, shoulders down, and Deanna Perrazzo pops free at two. Barely able to escape. And Deanna Perrazzo's gotta get something going here. This match could be over in a few short seconds. Can Rosemary and Taya advance? in the Knockouts oh. Tag Team Championship Tournament. Or will Kimberly and Deanna Perrazzo score the victory? Short arm reversal, looking for the arm bar. Deanna Perrazzo looking for the arm bar. Rosemary spins free. Ducks the line, does Deanna. And Deanna Perrazzo connects. Took her back and then rocked her forward with the flatliner type move. And Deanna Perrazzo driving knees into the midsection of Rosemary. Here comes Kimberly oh. with a jumping neck breaker. There's a shot to Taya Valkyrie. That's a preemptive strike. I thought Kim would follow it up with a cover, but Rosemary has sat back up. Kick there by Deanna Perrazzo for good measure. Well, this might not be the smartest move on the part of these two. We've seen Rosemary in this position before. A resurrection there, Josh. Rosemary sits up Taya Valkyrie as Deanna Perrazzo and Kimberly were frozen in fear. Taya took advantage with a double clothesline. And now Rosemary and Taya can get something going here. All four knockouts trading shots. Referees completely lost control. A pair of kicks. Whoop. Taya and Kimberly simultaneously with the splits. Now you've got Rosemary and Deanna trading shots. Taya and Kim going at it. Things are just going off the rails oh, here. Oh, oh, no! Misfire, misfire. Deanna Perrazzo just kicked Kimberly, her tag team partner. There's a spear by Rosemary. Taya sends Deanna to the floor. Rosemary has Kimberly. Double underhook has her here. And Rosemary dropping Kimberly. Shoulders down. And Rosemary picks up the win. They move on. The winners of this match. Taya Valkyrie and Rosemary. Taya Valkyrie and Rosemary will be in the semifinals. They will face the team of Kiera Hogan and Tasha Steeles. So the semifinals on both sides of the bracket, folks, are set. These look really good, right? I like, you like that, that one. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to show her that one okay. too. Hey, Lish, okay. We've got some big ideas here. Been talking with the marketing team and a production team. We've got outfits, but first I'm thinking names. What do you think of this? Wait, 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 Tanil. I really don't have time for this. I have more important things to worry about right now. More, more important. important things than the influencers starring Tanil Dashwood, Caleb with a K, and Alicia. More than that. Sounds good. That's a long right? version, though. Actually, this one I kind of like a little better. It's the influencer starring Tanil Dashwood and friends. Friends, if you were my real friend, you would have noticed my husband got his ass kicked by Sammy and Ken two weeks ago. Um, yeah, so this cannot happen. I don't have time for this right now. I'm sorry. You don't have time for this? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have time for this. You don't have time for me. I don't. You're the one that wanted this. You know what? You're out of the team. I'm out of the team. Yeah, you're, you're out. out of the team. Yeah, actually, you know I don't have time for this. We're yeah. going to teach you a lesson. Fine. Yeah. You want to teach me a lesson? Teach me a lesson later, OK? Yeah. I wanted to do it later anyway. We're going to do it. We'll do it later. Do it later. You know what? We need to talk this to is somebody ridiculous. about this. This, this is, is ridiculous. I'm so ridiculous. done with all this work. You know what, Scott? The there perfect yep, person to go. talk to. You've been a thorn in my side for my, you. And you've had me dealing with an un dead zombie for months now. I'm supposed to compete in the tag title tournament. I'm supposed to defend my knockouts championship. Tell me, how is it that I'm supposed to, to juggle all of these I, jobs? I Are you kidding?
kidding me? Ridiculous. Man, I, I didn't realize how much you had on the go. There's so much juggling, and I mean, you have to, an un, an un, oh my God, undead and running around and having, but, but looks like you've taken care of Sue. For now, maybe. 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 And the, t the tag tournament, so much, but I mean, seeing as you lost, that seems less important right now. But so, so, so it seems to me like really, you can really focus down, laser focus in on the what knockouts championship, being the very best spot? knockout in the entire world, yeah, right? I mean, You're the number one female. Mm -hmm. And you know, I know it's eating away at you that you went out there and you had that loss to tie in Rosemary. So I know you've got something to prove. You've got something to yeah, prove. I do. So this Saturday at Final Resolution, you're gonna prove it because you're gonna defend that knockouts championship against Rosemary. It's gonna be unbelievable. You'll get to prove how, how great you are. And you, you can focus right on it because you've got nothing else because you've lost. You Ladies and gentlemen, if you're joining Impact Wrestling for the first time in a long time, the rivalry between Sandy Callahan and Eddie Edwards is something worth revisiting on Impact Plus. These two loathe each other. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the highest rated impact wrestler of them all? Survey says, in honor of the late Alex Trebek, what is the draw Sammy Callahan? Ding, ding, ding. That is a correct answer for $500. Best in the ring? You're looking at him. Best on the mic, you're looking at him. Most must-see wrestler on this godforsaken planet, you're looking at him. Since day one of me being in this company, I have held it on my back. I have dug it out of the trenches and made it the company that it is today. Impact Wrestling needs the draw Sammy Callahan a whole hell of a lot more than the draw Sammy Callahan needs Impact Wrestling. And that's why I get away with what I get away with. I mean, let's look at the history books. The moment that set Impact Wrestling on fire. TMZ, TMZ Sports, all the dirt sheets, everyone around the wrestling world was talking about it. The infamous baseball bat incident. The moment when I hit Eddie Edwards in the face with a baseball bat. The best thing that ever happened to his career. Hell, Eddie Edwards should be thanking me because I made his ass relevant. And since I'm a giving person, what the hell? I've had the people in the back load up the clip. Let's go ahead and roll that beautiful bean footage. <laughs> I am good looking. Damn, that gets better every time I watch it. Look at Eddie Edwards. That dumbass just doesn't learn. He keeps sticking his nose into my business and he keeps getting his ass beat. This is something that's destined to happen to forever. It's Eddie Edwards getting his ass beat by the draw Sammy Callahan before I force him out of this business. So, what I do? I said, what the hell? Let's do this again. Let's hit Eddie Edwards in the face with a baseball bat again and make the ratings go up. <laughs> that incident, hell, that incident got Ken Shamrock suspended, but don't worry, he's doing great. He's taking a nice, needed vacation while the draw Sammy Callahan holds things down. The sequel. Yeah, I like that. The sequel. And like I said, since I'm in a giving mood, I've had them load that clip up also. Let's go ahead and roll the footage. Idiots, I said let's roll that footage.
Well, this isn't what Sammy Callahan was asking to be rolled from the production truck. Yo, you better stop, because I'm not in the best mood. Look at you. What are you, five foot tall? You want to come down here and fight the draw, Sammy Callahan? Look what happened to you last time you stepped in the ring. You almost got pile drove by Eric Young. But there is a big difference between me and Eric Young. He has way better manners than me. If you step one foot in this ring, I'm going to break your freaking neck. Oh, you think you're going to break my freaking neck? Well, guess what, Sammy? What? Unlike last time, I didn't come alone. And look, there's Eddie Edwards from behind. Eddie Edwards is all over Sammy Callahan. Eddie Edwards is back, and Eddie Edwards wants revenge on Callahan. And it's Callahan, oh boy. Sammy Callahan tried to get rid of the bat. And Eddie Edwards has his hand on the weapon of choice in the rivalry for the eye of Eddie Edwards. That's from two weeks ago. Eddie misses wildly, and Callahan's gonna get out of here. Sammy Callahan gonna run for higher ground. And still to come, the most anticipated interview in the history of professional wrestling. That's the bus of the AEW world champion, Kenny Omega. I will enter the bus and interview Kenny Omega along with Don Callis and ask the questions that wrestling fans and pundits have been asking all week long. That happens tonight on Impact Wrestling on Access TV. Helped you take care of your problem. Now it's time to take care of my problem. You want it? I you do. got it. Let's yeah. do. Woo! Let's do it. Let's keep this train rolling. As we prepare for our in-ring really main event tonight, Eddie Edwards is all fired up. The following tag team contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing team number one first from the Bay Area AVA, the ultimate finesser, Chris Bay. You know, Madison Rain, as the world talks about what happened last Wednesday, Kenny Omega becoming the AEW World Champion. Chris Bay's got to be thinking, at the end of Impact last Tuesday, Bay. I was holding the Impact World Championship high above my head, and that's what the world should be talking about. We'll talk about that. We'll talk about last week as we prepare for our main event here, and not sure Chris Bay and his tag team partner are on the same page. We'll see if they can find some instant chemistry here tonight. His tag team partner is the TNA World Heavyweight Champion, Moose. And folks, if you're joining us for the first time and wondering how Moose won the TNA World Heavyweight Championship, he did. It's a prop that he carries around this belt and he calls himself the TNA World Heavyweight Champion. He has beaten legitimate past TNA World Heavyweight Champions like Rob Van Dam and Ken Shamrock, but Somebody else needs to go tell Moose, and it won't be me, that he's not the TNA World Heavyweight Champion. His partner tonight, Chris Bay, has a chance to become Impact World Champion Saturday night at Final Resolution on Impact Plus when Bay challenges Rich Swan for the championship. And we'll see if what we saw last Tuesday is an indication of what we'll see Saturday with Bay holding up the world's championship as we await the arrival of the opponents for this could be a very dangerous team in Moose and Bay. Ladies and gentlemen, their opponents from South Central Los Angeles, California, Willie Mack 
his tag team partner from Baltimore, Maryland, the Impact World Champion, Rich Swan. And you could be thinking, Rich could do what Moose did and come out separately, but Rich and Willie Mack are best of friends. They want to come out together. They want to compete together. We said in the past that if Willie says to Rich, I want an opportunity at the World Championship, they'll knuckle up just like they did, and they'll get it on in a fair one-on-one -on -one match for the best man win. Rich Schwab, the world champion, won the title of Bound for Glory. What a feel-good story that was. We'll see if Rich's championship reign can continue Saturday at final resolution against Chris Bay, or if there'll be a whole new era, the era of Bay, and impact post Saturday night. Madison Rand, I know you're a huge fan of Chris Bay. You probably got a list of Bayisms waiting to spout off here tonight. Well, no, I'm just gonna sit back and I'm gonna wait for Saturday and see if the Bayhood dream can come true. Moose will get things started and he'll do so against Rich Swan. Moose has been looking to make an example out of Willie Mack for weeks. Moose has been looking to send a message to Rich through Willie, and Rich is saying, you want to do it, do it to me. Let's see what you got. And Chris Bay will, I'm not sure if I would get on the bad side of Moose. I think Moose is already mad. Did Good you point. see yep. how when, when Moose came out and, and, and Bay was doing the Moose and, and Moose just stared at him? Does he know that's his partner? Chris Bay, former X Division champion. Rich Swan, also former X Division champion. Now the current reigning world champion here in Impact Wrestling. Bay would love to follow in Rich's footsteps. Bay goes flying through the legs of Rich. This is going to be quick, folks. Don't blink. You may miss something spectacular between these two. Rich lands on his feet. Bay right there. Rich goes up and over. Bay spills to the outside. Oh, goes to the midsection, does Chris Bay. Back inside the ring, off the back of Rich Swan. Somersaults through, head scissors here. Rich cartwheels out. Nip up by Bay, drop kick thrown off. And Rich Swan, talking trash, looking for a hip toss is Bay. Rich lands on his feet, back inside, shoulders down. No, big time drop kick there. And this match continues, folks, after this. Welcome back to Impact Wrestling. This is our in-ring main event. Ladies and gentlemen, of course, still to come, I sit down with the AEW World Champion, Kenny Omega, and Don Callis. I'll head out to the bus, and we'll get the questions answered. Oh, from Kenny Omega and Don Callis. Find out why they did what they did last Wednesday night on Dynamite. Josh, I'm, I'm sitting here on edge with the rest oh. of the world waiting for answers to those questions. What are they gonna say? What what are they how are they gonna explain what happened last Wednesday night? The world will find out together as Willie oh, Mack Moose. firing away into the face of Moose. Can't take the big man off his feet, and Moose with authority sends Willie into the canvas. And Moose now, look at the way he just pulled Willie off the canvas and slams him down again. Standing rock bottom from Moose. And then a giant chop to the whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, why not? Oh, Chris Bay opting to be the rag doll of his tag team partner. Bay goes for the cover, hooks the leg of Willie, and Willie pops free at two. That wasn't like a tag team tandem move that you're used to seeing in tag team matches. I thought Moose was just done with Bay at that point. Yeah, I don't know that I, I necessarily agree with you saying that Chris Bay agreed to be the rag doll. I think I would bay to differ there on that. Fair enough. I don't think Chris Bay had a choice in the matter of what Moose wants to do. But regardless, Bay and Moose are in control right now of Willie Mack, who needs to make a tag to the Impact World Champion Rich Swan, who wants to get back into this matchup in a bad way. Saturday night, final resolution, streaming exclusively on Impact Plus. It all gets started at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Download the app, subscribe today. Enjoy thousands of hours of content. January, it's Knockouts Month on Impact Plus, so I assume we'll see a lot of Madison Rain next month. You could only be so lucky, Josh. Moose talking trash to Rich Swan here and firing away. Unfortunately, Willie knows what this feels like to be punished and brutalized by the likes of Moose. Played his college ball in the Big East at the time at the University of Syracuse in upstate New York. 
Yeah, but the thing about tonight, Josh, and the difference in the dynamic is that Moose can't get away with, with just beating on Willie Mack because Willie's got Impact World Champion in his corner to keep that from happening. That's a good point. I don't know if it'll stop Moose's efforts, though, and here comes Chris Bay, young man from the Virginia area. There's a cover and a kick out. Spent a lot of time in Las Vegas with the independent promotion, future stars of wrestling, FSW. And there's Moose tagging himself. <laughs> Bay was going to make the tag, maybe not fast enough. Look, I'm a fan of Moose. I'm a big fan of Chris Bay, but I'll tell you this much. If I had a tag team partner that kept chopping me in the chest, oh, yeah. I'd leave. I would leave and let my partner figure it out for themselves. Moose is screaming at Bay. Willie is down. Rich is reaching, but almost looking like Rich knows what's happening here. The dismantling of his tag team partner, Willie Mack. I'm going to show you what Moose is yelling at Rich. And Willie with a stunner. Willie pulls off the stunner. Moose is still on his feet. Here comes Willie with another stunner. And this time Moose is down. This time Moose is down. The big man has been taken off his feet. This team of Willie and Rich need to capitalize right now. This is their moment. Moose is not on his feet. Here comes Rick Swan. Here comes the world champion. Ducks the line. Takes out Chris Bay. Shot to the midsection. Rich has got to go rapid fire style. And Moose here. Three kicks to the midsection. Off the ropes. Looking for Arana. And Moose hangs on. Oh, devastation with a power bomb from Moose. Wow. And things get complicated here, Josh, because Rich Swan and Chris Bay oh. have a huge main oh. event match coming up this Saturday. They cannot, cannot risk going into that match less than 100%. Yeah, you want to go into final resolution unscathed Saturday night. Bay with a boot there. Rich follows up with one of his own, takes out the knee, the shin of Moose. There's a shot to the face. Here comes Rich for a little two for one. Wow. And it's Bay off of Moose with the corner Huracanrana. Shoulders down, hooks the leg, and he got it too. Chris Bay stays alive for his team. And Rich Swan, we say he's got the heart of a lion, and he may need to show that here tonight and Saturday. Nice reversal, and then into the neck breaker. And now, off the face of Bay with his heel, tagging Willie Mack. Will we see the six star, the six star frog splash from Willie Mack? Here we go. Oh, Bay rolls in. Willie comes up empty. Here comes Rich. Bay with a unique counter out of the corner. Rich on his feet, head scissors, and Rich goes off the second. Chris Bay off the ropes. Bay with a jumping, spinning heel kick. Lightning fast offense from. What a shot by Willie and Madison. You said Willie's got knockout power. There's the lights out spear from Moose. Bay and Willie are legal, but Moose is going to do this again to Willie Mack and break down Willie over and over with shots. And there's a heel kick from Rich Swan. Rich coming to the aid of his friend, but has the damage been done? Can Bay crawl into position? The legal men in the ring, shoulders down, and Bay picks up the win for his team. All I really need is one shot. Not Here are your winners, Moose and Chris Bay. Chris Bay taking momentum into Saturday, where he will challenge for the world's championship on Impact Plus at final resolution. Big win for Chris Bay on the precipice of final resolution. Yeah, Chris Bay is taking momentum with him into final resolution this Saturday night. You know, I feel like I'm taking something with me. We're moments away, ladies and gentlemen, from literally making history in professional wrestling. I am moments away right now from going and interviewing the new AEW world champion, Kenny Omega, along with Impact executive Don Callis and Madison Rain. I say those words, but I have no idea what I'm about to get into. I have no idea what, what we're about to get into, what's going to happen, what's going to be said, but it's time to ask those questions. It's time to find out what's going to happen next and what exactly Don Callis and Kenny Omega have planned for Impact Wrestling. Don't go anywhere, folks. Impact continues right after this. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. You have to be on the list to come through? 
the champion has the parking lot blocked off. The champion? Who's yeah. playing that bull crap again, man? He's not the true champion. I'm the world champion. It's not, not Moose. Kenny Omega? What? I'm sorry, sir. You have to be on the list? Uh, Josh Matthews to interview Kenny Omega and Don Callis. Yep. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Not on the list. No impact champion. Hello? Kenny? Don? Oh, hey, Tom. Oh, the champ is here. Look what I brought with me, huh? Yeah. Look Josh, what I brought with me. Time to see. How you doing, buddy? Good. How are you? Yeah, I'm doing fine. Good to see you, Josh. Check it out. Yeah. Gentlemen, thank you for your time, obviously. Can um, I just cut hey, you off? It. Just let me cut you off. Uh, do you want to witness a little history? Have you ever seen history? I don't think you have. Uh, we got a special treat on behalf of the real world champion and Don Callis. Uh -huh. The ceremonial changing of the nameplate says John Moxley now still, been a little while, yeah. time to change it. We wanted to wait and do it here. This normally would have happened on AEW television, but Kenny Omega wanted to give a gift to the Impact Ta -ta! So if you just kind of uh, talk amongst yourself, Josh, I'm gonna just get this thing off here so we can do the changing and the switch oh. on, on this television program. You like that, kid? So, so while you're doing that, Don, as we've been talking about throughout the broadcast this past Wednesday night on AEW Dynamite on TNT, you were there for commentary, and as you said, at full gear, you and Kenny are family, mm -hmm. but you jumped off commentary, and you physically got involved in the match, and while we'll, we'll get to that, my first question is, how long has this been in the works? You know what, Josh, just hold off. Let's have a little history here. Let's give the people a little show. <sighs> Kenny Omega nameplate, we got to see it here first. Kenny, look, I got the... Got the old John Moxley <laughs> nameplate. What well, we need that anymore. Hey, you were close with Ambrose, right? You, tough enough season one, right? He's an you, old you, Stanford stooge. You want a little Give bit of a souvenir? Yeah. yeah. Okay, well, I, I don't need it. No, we don't need that. <laughs> all right, all right. You wanted to know, I think, well, when this all started, and you know, people like you that kind of live moment to moment in your lives. Kenny Omega and I think in years. You want to know when this started? You probably expect me to go, last week. No, <laughs> not two weeks ago, not two years ago. Not even two decades ago, 27 years ago, this happened when I was trained as a professional wrestler by the Golden Sheik, who was a wrestler in Canada. You know what? Do we hey. have the Sheik's picture? Could hey. you bring that? There we go. There you are. That's your boy there with your, with your uncle. It's my uncle. The Golden Sheik was Kenny Omega's uncle. Mm -hmm. He not only trained me as a wrestler, he was my manager, and he took me in and he took care of me. And 27 years ago, he introduced me to his nephew, a 10-year-old curly-haired kid named Kenny. And for all of Kenny's formative years, I have looked after Kenny like the Sheik looked after me. And Kenny always had something special, and I've always been there. I've always been the invisible hand in his life like I've been in professional wrestling for the last number of years. Did you really think, Josh Matthews, that I got back into this business five years ago to do a podcast? Is that what you thought? Did you people honestly think that I came back out of a successful international business career to be the color commentator for New Japan Pro Wrestling? No. It was all part of the plan. It was all part of the plan for me to be next to Kenny when he won the IWGP heavyweight title. It was all part of the plan for me to come to Impact Wrestling like I did, Josh. It was all part of the plan when Tony Khan invited me into his house very graciously at Kenny's request to call Kenny's match where he won the tournament over Adam Page. It was all part of the plan when I was such a good guy that Tony Khan graciously invited me back into his house to call the world title match against John Moxley. You see, Kenny and Don Callis, we're family. Most people in wrestling don't understand anything about that. What we do is change history. We've done it, Kenny, not just once, no. but twice. We did it three years ago, almost to the day, 
when I booked Kenny Omega with Chris Jericho in the Tokyo Dome, the match that changed the course of wrestling history, the match that Tony Khan said gave birth to AEW. He said it himself, Don. He did. He said it himself many, many times. A lot of people take credit for what we accomplished. They have. they have. And for all you people who love AEW, it's great. And you You're like welcome. <laughs> Just send thank you cards to me and Kenny Omega because we made that happen. Some people get to change history once. No one changes it twice. Never. And what we did last Wednesday night on Dynamite was changed the course of wrestling history. They're calling it the golden screw job. They're calling it the biggest screw job in wrestling since Montreal. Yeah. And I don't see it that way. I see it as setting the course of history right. Because now, what have you got? You've got what you always wanted. The greatest wrestler in the history of this business, a Hall of Famer in his mid-30s, is your AEW World Champion. And we did it together, and that's what makes it the most special. You see, some people make matches. Uh -huh. Some people like to make memories. Uh -huh. Kenny Omega and Don Callis, we make history. With all that being said, yeah. do you feel that what happened Wednesday tarnishes your legacy? What is wrong with you? Don't have okay, you what you is wrong with you? No, what no, is no, wrong no, with no, you? It's okay, it's okay. You're an ignorant no. little worm. Hey, Josh, could, could you repeat the question, please? Could you, could, you, could you repeat the question, please? I just, I just want to make sure I just heard it correctly. Yeah. With all due respect, Okay. And with Don yeah. physically getting involved I, I in the match, you respect me. passing you the microphone uh -huh. that you used off the skull of John Moxley to become AEW World Champion. Yeah. The way it played out. Uh -huh. Do you feel? You might have me do a little bit of a, a role reversal here. What, what, what if I assume the role of interviewer right now? Let me ask you a question, Josh. Okay. Let me ask you a question. Okay. Do you have a, a father or a father figure in your life right now? Yeah, you do? Okay, now what would happen if somebody that you hated, someone that you despised for no reason at all, had the unmitigated gall to put their hands on your father, to strike your father down right before your very eyes? Would you hit them back? If you saw something laying before your feet, would you pick up that object and strike the man that struck your father? Huh, would you exact the measure of revenge? I think you would. Now yes, I had placed a gentleman's agreement on this match with John Moxley, okay? And I protected it to the best of my ability, but when you involve family in the way that you did, when you lay your hands on the architect, when you lay your hands on the invisible hand, what do you expect me to do? Of course I'm gonna get a little pissed off. I'm a little pissed off right now at you, Josh, okay? You, you, it's just like you, especially from the place you came from, to have that to have that arrogance. I'm gonna answer all your questions, all wrapped under one big nice package right now. You're probably wondering, okay, do I feel like I tarnished the legacy? The answer is no. Everybody wanted me to be the champion. Everybody needed me to be the champion. When people talk about the greatest matches of all time, guess who's had them? You're looking at them. And you're not just talking about singles matches. We're talking about cinematic matches, hardcore matches, tag team matches. My name is in the list of all of them. You talk about the top 20 AEW matches, I'm in about, I don't know, uh, 17 of them. When you talk about the top matches in Mexico, that's me too. You talk about the top matches in Japan, that's me too. England, UK, Zimbabwe, you name it! I'm probably there, okay? So me coming here to Impact, oh, you, you should start really treating me better, okay? You really should. And, and now I'm getting pissed off. So. Finally, what, 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 I'm, what I'm gonna ask, I'm, I, know, I know where you're going with it, so I'm, so I'm gonna answer the question. Well, what am I doing here? What am I doing here at Impact? Well, why this, why, why, why this whole, why, why, why the bus? You number, ask better questions than him. Number one, interview ourselves. Number one, it's because we can, okay? We like to ride in style. We like to live in style. Look, look at this jewelry. I feel like the old me again. <laughs> <laughs> but why Impact Wrestling? Hey, Don, I'm gonna teach you something about myself. Please. As a child, I fancied myself as a little bit of a hobbyist. I was a collector. Really? Did you know that I collected comic books, Don? I love comic books. Yeah, well, I had to quit. You know why? Because no matter how much money I spent, no matter how many rare comic books I collected, I could never get the most rarest, the most valuable prizes amongst all the collectors in the comic book industry. Now I found a new hobby, 
and I have the most valuable prize of them all. The Action Comics number one. That's Superman's debut, by the way. I know. <laughs> and hell, I don't mind if I had an X-Men number one in my collection. Triple A title. I don't mind if I had a Spider-Man number one in my collection. That'd be pretty cool. Who knows? Maybe that's the Impact Champion. You guys have got a great champion, right? Fantastic. What? The thing is, I love traveling. I love the lifestyle that pro wrestling affords me. And as long as I have this, I don't mind having a little bit of fun in my spare time. We got titles here. We Why not add a little bit to my collection? Who knows? Those yeah, be good. But for now, Don Cows, we're about, I don't know, uh, 24 hours away from a big announcement at AEW. We got to get to Jacksonville and to blow thought, the lid off dynamite, and Kenny. If you, and if you thought the Lex Express was riding in style, yeah. <laughs> I got something even better planned for tomorrow. Something really? even cooler. Give us a little bit. Come on. I can't tell you. you can't tell us? Okay, okay. Well, give, do the hey, thing. Here's, here's a clue. Here's a clue. Lex Luger. Okay. Okay. You think it? We have the, we have the bus? What else did oh, I, I think yeah, I know where yeah, you're going with that. Yeah. You know what? You know what? You know what would be perfect? What? Do the thing. Okay. Can you do the thing? They all want to see the thing. Yeah. They, I, I, Josh I, might paint. Hopefully, if you, you guys it, didn't you actually ahead. think I was going to wrestle or defend this belt, yeah, but yeah, I am yeah. going to give you the thing. And this will be the first time I've done the thing on TV in a long time. So I'm going to do the thing. And, and, and you ready for it, Don? We're going to blow up the you know Twitter thing. thing. You know yeah, yeah, thing? yeah. You probably heard it before, right? You know the thing. Yeah, everyone knows the thing. Okay. Do it. Must be you. Do goodbye. Mwah. And good night. Oh my God, it's so great. Bang! Yes! <sighs> Let's get out of here. Oof. Back to Stanford, kid. <sighs> Thanks for coming. Champ? You're not a, I like him. He's not a bad guy. You're not really mm. a stooge.